Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So yes. here we sit in our backyard on our <laughs> patio on the most perfect of gloomy days. <laughs> it's chilly right now and what better day to film a video for you guys about how to be happy, how to be happy in spite of your situation when the sun isn't shining outside or even within. How can you want remain happy? Ultimately, happiness comes from a sense of joy, purpose, and satisfaction. Right, so some of the happiest places in the world, like Costa Rica, <laughs> Singapore, and Denmark, are living these measurably happy lives based on a set of factors and principles that they incorporate into their daily lives. Right. We're gonna be sharing those with you today, so hopefully you can take some of what they've done to become happier and incorporate it into your own life. Right, we are also gonna share with you the simple things that we do on a daily basis that bring us happiness and joy. So naturally we would start with eat, move, rest because that's kind of what we're all about here. But because we've got a stress-busting smoothie recipe for you guys, we're gonna save that until the end, so stay right. tuned. Tip number one. Invest in your hobbies and new experiences. It can be really easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day work grind and it is no bueno. So this is where we were two or three years ago. We loved video, photo, all this type of work. We wanted to express ourselves artistically and we had a message to share of health and wellness, but we didn't know how to necessarily do it. This led us on a scouring Google search of watching YouTube videos, how to buy a camera, how to take photos, how to edit video. How to start a blog. How to start a blog. <laughs> and that ultimately led us to Skillshare where we have basically learned how to do what it is we're doing right this very second. Right, so one of our favorite YouTube channels actually had a message about Skillshare that kind of piqued our interest. So Skillshare.com it was. We went on the website and the awesome thing is that it makes the good choice the easy one because you don't have to go sit in a classroom on a campus and not be able to afford your classes, maybe not even love the classes that you paid for. So that being said, Skillshare is totally affordable. It's an online learning platform to help you further your curiosities, your creativities, maybe even your career. Yes, so we are super excited because we get to offer you guys a free two month trial to our first 500 <laughs> subscribers to click the link in our description below. Yeah, so you can take classes on everything from how to chop a vegetable yes. to how to start a blog to how to make a YouTube video. Yes. If you guys want a dedicated video on how we started our YouTube channel, let us know in the link below. Right. That being said, new hobbies was just one part of our tip number one. The other part is new experiences. So we absolutely love to travel and see right. the world. So we kind of combined our hobby with new experiences <laughs> by bringing our cameras everywhere with us on the go. So we encourage you guys, travel somewhere, book a trip you've never been, and tell your story in your own unique creative way. Tip number two, get out in nature, go for a hike, climb a mountain, swim down a river, get in a canoe, whatever you have to do to get out and explore the world around you. It can be as simple as slipping your shoes off and walking barefoot in the grass. This is a fantastic thing that you can do if you've been working at your work desk all day. Slip your shoes off at the end of the day and go walk around in the grass. Get yourself some pets, get yourself some plants, bring the outdoors in. We've got a plethora of house plants you guys have seen in one of our recent YouTube videos. Or better yet, start a garden. So tip number three, have a spiritual practice, whether that's sitting down every morning or evening to read scripture, to meditate, to pray, to simply give thanks. Get out in nature like Aaron mentioned before. Maybe you take a trip, go to Italy like we did and experience the awe and the wonder. There's so much beauty in this world. And we say it's God. We say it's our creator that has given us everything that we have. He gives us the strength and the peace to remain happy. And that's our spiritual practice and we seriously recommend for everyone out there. Find a community and be a part of it. So these happiest places in the world, one of the things that they have in common is they live within walking distance from a church, a market, a park, maybe even a gym. So living within walking distance from your community makes it that much easier to invest time with your community. Worst case, you can invest your time at work, spending time getting to know those you work with, or even better, find an online community like you're doing right now watching our channel. So our next tip is work. Do what you love or find a way to make your work fun because let's be honest, we can't all quit our day jobs. 
I happen to be a landscaper by trade. I've got a trailer full of mulch to get to work on, but I love it. And it's not because it's easy, but it's because I love it. So do something you love, or like we said before, find a new hobby that can maybe turn into something that could make you money, that could be a new source of income for you. At the end of the day, if you can't enjoy what it is you're doing, set boundaries between work and play and make sure to make the time for play. Healthy habit number six is <laughs> Spend enough time with family and get the emotional support that you need. So Dusty just talked about work-life balance and it's super important to not get too wrapped up in your own schedule and to set that time for friends, family, and loved ones. Right, so obviously that's a new thing for us, especially <laughs> with Max who, by the way, is passed out right here next to us. <laughs> so we are learning as a small family, as a new family, how to find that intimacy, that touch, that that togetherness time. We are so close to our parents and our siblings. We're super fortunate, so we take full advantage of that and get as much family time as we can. Right, so we've been able to share in so many exciting experiences with yeah. them. They've been able to see Max grow up. After Max was born, we found ourselves going stir crazy. So we found a lot of joy getting out, getting by the pool, going to the farmer's market, doing these things with our friends and with our families. So we should all have at least a couple of close friends or family members that we can confide in, that we can share anything and everything with, get things off of our chest. It can almost be considered a form of therapy. In fact, I know that I feel a sense of release <laughs> when I share things, even with Dusty. But find a couple of people and don't be afraid to open up. Right, but maybe you're thinking, uh, all my family is gone, or I moved away, there is no family even close to me. Well, your friends can be your family. <laughs> Do like we did in LA when we did our meetup, or come on a retreat and join our Eat, Move, Rest family with us. And also on that note, aside from sharing your feelings, talk, touch, intimacy. So this is something that was totally new to me when I came into Dusty's family. I didn't right. come from a very huggy, touchy-feely family, but all of a sudden I was showered with hugs and handshakes galore, multiple upon yeah. arrival and departure. Yes. So it felt new and uncomfortable, but now I've really come to love it. Number seven, practice gratitude and give back. Right. So this right here is a gratitude journal. This tiny notebook sits right by my bed and every so often I'll open it and jot down two to three things that I'm grateful for. So a lot of times we can get caught up in social media and one of the downfalls of it is that it can make us feel crummy from time to time. Maybe we wish that we looked different or we lived somewhere different. Maybe we wish we had more than what we already have. The list goes on and on. But if I can be thankful for what I already have, I realize just how much I do have and giving back so Aaron and I have made it made it a habit to give our time once in a while to volunteer like with the Special Olympics or a bike camp for children with disabilities or even at our church this last winter my mom did a fundraiser for sleeping bags for the homeless giving back can be super easy too maybe you're in the Starbucks drive through and you pay it forward or maybe you hop online and you donate to one of your favorite charities we can link some of our favorites below in the description <laughs> so healthy habit number eight is to move. Whether you're going for a run or a ride, or maybe you just like to dance, moving produces good stress, which in turn releases feel-good endorphins. Moving your body will make you happy. Sometimes I spend too much time on my computer, I just feel drained of energy. It seems counterintuitive, but honestly, moving your body will give you more energy. So on a day like today, when the rain has finally stopped and I'm feeling a little bit groggy, a long walk with Aaron and Max is gonna probably be the thing that makes me feel better. But I'm actually thinking about a bike ride. Tip number nine, rest. Little man is just waking up from probably his third nap of the day. <laughs> and one thing's for sure, babies know when they need to rest, they rest. As a new mom, I think it's safe to say I know a thing or two about being sleep deprived. But that being said, aside from getting your eight hours of sleep, like we always say, there are a ton of other ways that you can get your rest. So practicing meditation and mindfulness, even just kicking your feet up and spending some quality time with your loved ones again. So you can see a lot of these healthy habits are intertwined and the more that you can practice them, the more that you'll feel you're not checking off a list, but that they're free flowing and that they all make you happy working in conjunction together. Okay, you guys, our last and final tip is to nourish your body. It all starts with what's on your plate and what ultimately ends up in your mouth. <laughs> on that note, 
Erin has got an epic stress busting smoothie for you guys now. Finally, you guys, I'm going to be sharing with you our stress busting smoothie favorite. This one is our Choco Maca protein smoothie. So I'm going to be cluing you in as to why these ingredients are so beneficial at boosting your mood and diminishing your stress. Keep in mind, this recipe is for two. For this Choco Maca smoothie, you will need six frozen ripe speckled bananas, two tablespoons of cacao powder, two tablespoons of hemp seeds, two teaspoons of maca powder, and optionally, one scoop of chocolate plant protein. You will also need a liquid of your choice. We are doing anywhere from one to two cups of almond milk. It's best if you can leave your bananas to set out for 10 to 15 minutes before blending, especially if you don't have a high speed blender, but we're gonna place them into our Vitamix here. And the reason bananas are so fantastic for fighting stress is because they're high in potassium, which can help if you have muscle cramps or aches or spasms, get those bananas in. Ingredient number two and my favorite is cacao. So it's super high in polyphenols and flavanols, which are antioxidants that increase serotonin in the brain. Serotonin is responsible for better mood, better sleep, and reduced anxiety. Next is hemp seeds. So aside from the fact that they're super high in fatty acids, they're also extremely high in magnesium. So magnesium increases the amount of GABA, which is another neurotransmitter in the body. When that goes up, stress, anxiety, depression goes down. It also helps with sore muscles. Up next is maca powder, which is an adaptogen. So adaptogens are known for surviving some of the harshest climates on the planet. They're fantastic at adapting within the body as well. So they can help with stress management, anxiety, libido, energy, and sleep. All of the above, yes please. I'm adding in this optional plant protein because especially if you're highly active, it's going to be great for repairing your muscles. Finally, your liquid. Almond milk is another that has all kinds of beneficial stress busting components. Ready? <laughs> So here we are. Mm. Max is well slept. We're about to be well fed with our stress busting Choco Maca smoothies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they are so, so good. Mm -hmm. And guess what, you guys? The sun came out. Ah. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we hope you guys enjoy these tips. A lot of them are common sense, yes, but sometimes we need a simple reminder to invest in eating, moving, and resting better, enjoying our work more. One final bonus tip. Spend some time with a baby. As difficult and stressful as being new parents can sometimes be, Max knows how to be healthy and how to be happy. He eats when he's hungry. He sleeps when he's tired. He poops on demand. Eat, poop, rest, folks. Yes. <laughs> Spend some time with a happy baby and you will ultimately learn how to be happier for yourself. So yeah, you guys, don't forget about this special offer linked in the description below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Leave us some love in the comments below and share this video with all your friends and family. <laughs> you guys know the drill. Stay happy, stay healthy, and eat, move, rest your best. Bye, guys.